What's up guys? Super excited to show you this 2020 Yamaha WR450 Trek build. This thing is finally done, so let's check it out. Here it is guys. This thing's all finished up. Everything turned out wicked on this machine. So we do have kits available for this style chassis. If you guys are new to the channel and you're just finding us, um, what we do is we take a uh, modern dirt bike we're converting them back into three-wheelers all right guys welcome to the channel So this is for guys that uh, actually grew up riding three-wheelers and uh, more or less are just still into them. You know, this is your chance to get a modern electric star EFI trike with uh, ungodly power, lightweight, awesome handling, and uh, it's really amazing what these things can do. So first thing we do is we start with our custom triple trees right down to the billet front hub. So we're basically putting some width in this front end, putting a trike front tire on it up here the front hub now the customer had chosen to powder coat this gold on gold just to get a different look going there so we did powder coat the billet billet front hub got our custom swing arm all back here so this is a trx 450r style uh, rear end axle carrier hubs and bolt pattern and wheels and everything it's all made to the dirt bike with our uh, custom swing arm of course, to get the ATV plastic mounted on there, we have to make a custom subframe assembly. This one we went with a thumb throttle conversion. So we chose a Yamaha throttle just to keep it the same as the bike. See all the factory uh, gauge cluster on there, start button kill switch. So on this bike, the gas tank is under the seat. The intake is in the front. So you've got some air inlets in the front. If you're gonna get to your gas cap, you're more or less just gonna pop this panel off here. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with how this one turned out. Customer chose to go with a oversized grab bar, six pack rack style, powder coated gold to match the wheels and the hubs. Four works took care of the seat cover as they do in many of our builds. So we got some gold banding on there. He chose to go with a Trimoto EFI style decaling on there. Got our uh, folding foot pegs on here. If you ever hit anything, it is gonna fold back and give a little bit similar to the stock dirt bike peg. Here's a good shot of our swing arm. Billet sprocket guard. And we've also got the Billet caliper mount, which also doubles as a discard. So we, uh, we machine all of this and we have our removable guard on the bottom. So if that ever gets dinged up or smashed, you can change it out very easily. Now the only real welding modification you have to do with these kits, um, other than it being pretty much full bolt on, we do cut the mid pipe and re-angle the exhaust down just to lower it. So we can get the ATV style seat and plastic on there. So that turned out super clean. Got the rubber mounted tail light right here. That was also the tail light off the dirt bike. So let's pop the seat off, check this out. Not a lot back here, being the intake is in the front. So it's actually very well protected on the Yamaha model. You don't have to worry about anything hitting it. Um, you don't have to worry about an airbox in the back, which is pretty cool. So we chose to keep the battery mounted as far forward as possible just to keep the weight centralized. You can see the starter solenoid buried in there and of course the uh, factory plugs and sensors. Now guys, again, like I was saying, when you do this style of build, it's actually really hard to close some of these gaps up with this style of gas tank and seat. So I made some filler panels here. These are lightweight aluminum and they're bolted down to the shrouds. That more or less just closed up this huge gap that was on here. So that was a plasma cut out of flat material, cleaned up 
we bent it with a bending brake and uh, just made it work. I actually wrapped these in some black vinyl. I think it looks super clean. It's a lot better than having a huge gap on here. The battle we were having with this bike was just trying to get this to work with the ATV seat, but I think it turned out really clean. I'll insert a clip of what it looked like without the, the gap guard on there. So with the seat off, you can see, just did a little bit of trimming on the plastic just to keep everything as clean as possible. Um, more or less, just very simple trimming. This is all stock in the back, but we really just trim the side just to get everything to fit right. So we've got our uh, seat latch point here. We have a hook here for our seat to mount into, and we used a Honda style front seat seat post so we do modify the the yamaha seat with our seat relocator bracket seat post relocator bracket which more or less allows it to grab this style i was going to use the stock yamaha one but it was made of plastic and being we have a heavier atv seat on here i just figured the honda one was better because it is all solid steel material so it's a lot stronger yeah guys super cool build let me know what you think there's not a lot of these out there in this year and style um, another thing we did, we relocated the fender brackets over here and we have the same style as OEM back here, but I put a, a lift on there. I just did that to lift the plastic up and close some of the gaps around the seat. But I do this too because being a three-wheeler, I mean, if you ever do roll it over or hit something right here, um, it's better than bending anything there. So this fender remains rigid but still flexible. Let's throw the seat back on. Another view of that, that gap guard. Overall turned out super clean. Yeah guys, if you like this build, Give this thing a thumbs up, comment what you what you want to see in the future. Um, we've got so many, so much more content coming. It's gonna be uh, unbelievable. But definitely subscribe to the channel. Just wanna thank everybody that has actually subscribed to our channel recently. I mean, we literally went from 10,000 to almost 30,000 subscribers. So pretty awesome. You guys are blowing me away with a lot of the comments. Um, it's just, it's amazing to see the follows, um, even the phone calls and the emails from all over the world. It's really inspiring, and we're just going to keep going with more builds. Thanks, guys. Check out uh, www.bvctrikes.com if you're interested in the kit for this style of bike.